Have you ever wondered how nature creates such a perfect patterns? From the petals of a flower to the spirals of a seashell, there's a mathematical design at play. It's called the Fibonacci Sequence, and it's everywhere. Hi everyone, I'm Baby Jean P. Mahilong from BA11, and today we're exploring one of the most fascinating patterns in mathematics, the Fibonacci Sequence. It's not just about numbers, it's a beautiful connection between math and nature. So get ready as I guide you step by step to uncover the magic behind it. Without further ado, let's get started. Question number one. What is the ninth term? Let's find the ninth term together. In the Fibonacci sequence, we get each other by adding the two terms before it. For example, 1 plus 1, that's why we get our third term which is 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. That's why we get our fourth term, which is 3. And 2 plus 3 is 5. That's why we get our fifth term, which is 5. And so on and so forth. Now, let's focus on the ninth term. Today, we were finding the ninth term in this Fibonacci sequence. We already know the seventh term, which is the 13. That's the seventh term. And the 21, which is the eighth term. So, to find the ninth term, we just add these two numbers together. So, 13 plus 21 equals 34. And that's our ninth term, the 34. So, the ninth term of our Fibonacci sequence is 34. That wasn't too hard, right? Question number two. How did you solve the ninth term? I solve it by following the rule of the Fibonacci sequence. I start with the two numbers for me to get the next one. For example here, 13 and 21. So this is the previous term, the 21, and the term before the previous term is 13. So basically, you just need to add the two terms to get the next term. The previous term and the term before the previous term. So our 7th term is 13, and the 8th term is 21. So for the 9th term, I add the 13 and 21, so the result is 34, which is our 9th term. Question number 3. What is the pattern of the Fibonacci? The Fibonacci sequence has a simple pattern. Each number is the sum of the two numbers before it. So for example, 1 plus 1 equals 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 plus 3 equals 5. 3 plus 5 equals 13. And so on and so forth. And the sequence continues like that. This pattern shows up all around us, like in the petals of a flower, or the spirals of a pine cone. Question number four. Find the 11 to 15 terms of the Fibonacci sequence. So today, we will going to get the 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 term of the Fibonacci sequence. But before that, we were going to find the 10 term first. So we just need to add the two terms, 21, and 34. So, 21 plus 34 equals 55. So, that's our 10th term. So, today, we were going to find the 11th term. So we just need to add the two terms. 34 plus 55 equals... I will be using my calculator for this. You can also use your calculator to solve this. 89. So our 11th term is 89. So you need to get the two terms. 
to get the next term. So, 55 plus 89 equals to 144. So, that's our 12th term. Get the two terms, 189 plus 144. Two hundred thirty-three. Get the two terms, one four four plus two three three equals three hundred seventy-seven. That's our fourteenth term, three hundred seventy-seven. And lastly, to get the fifteenth term, we just need to add the two terms, two hundred thirty-three plus 377 is equal to 610. And that's our 15th term, 610. So these are the terms of the Fibonacci sequence from 1 to 15th term. And that's how we find the term in the Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is simple but fascinating. It's not just math. It's a pattern we can see in nature and use in real life. I hope this helped you understand how to calculate its terms. Keep practicing and you'll get the hang of it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye!